Cybernet seas, we may not make it out of the bay. Just unwind, it doesn't matter anyway. Try not to freeze or throw away the keys. The predator is now the prey. Things could be different. Things could be alright. Things could be innocent when dark becomes light. Screen, the rebels in 4K. We're online. 
And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on in to round number four here on for the ACF One League here at Apollo Racing Club. Tonight we head as to Suzuka, and we'll talk about the track in just a moment. Up on your screen right now should be the points championship. Right now, Cody Lawrence leading the way, 52 points. He scored the fastest lap and the pull and the win. So sitting up there with a huge margin against Mark Levine right now, who has a 36 points with eight uh, with two second place finishes, and then Danny Hernandez two third place finishes puts him at 30 points. Fox in fourth place, legs in fifth. That's the top five, but. The night is still young here at Apollo Racing Club, and any of that can change here tonight. And looking at practice times, seems like a reasonable. Some good fast times out there. It looks like Cody Lawrence fastest overall, a 129.261. So he is still the quickest man. Nobody has been able to ma match him to, uh, at all this season or last season really so he is pretty much comfortable right now where he's at obviously some guys like uh, Damian Hall are looking to to try and improve their performance as well so as we see Damian Hall go third quick with a 130.2 well here we go is time for qualifying 14 minutes here of qualifying suzuka as pretty much if you are an f1 fan or a, a motorsports fan in general you know what suzuka is suzuka one of the famed tracks in the world a 3.6 mile long track 5.8 kilometers in length 18 corners of course the fabled 130r Flat in these cars, of course, spoon and the hairpin, the S's. I mean, there's so many, th so many things about this track that are very unique, and is going to make this an interesting race to see how many guys are going to be able to pass and and you know, especially this track. A lot of people, you know, know this track and are very comfortable racing on this track. I love this track; it's one of my favorites on the calendar. I love seeing any race in there. Honestly, if you've ever seen a Super GT race here, you would enjoy it quite a lot. Same with Super Formula. Super Formula races here, and they have some very good races here at Suzuka. So, so five seconds until we are rocking and rolling here in qualifying. Here we go. Looks like we have 15 drivers here tonight of the checked in 17. Gabriel Estrada first out there, Werley. Out behind, Danny Hernandez third out there. And then Ryan Earl. This will be an interesting race. Second race for Ryan Earl last week. Was chasing down the leaders and just made a couple of mistakes, had one really bad mistake and ended up DNFing from the race. But he does have some pretty competitive pace, um, as we've seen. So, as we saw last week. So, it'll be interesting to see how he fares this week. Cody Lawrence out behind Ryan Earl, Marco Jans, and Mark Levine. Frankie Franchica. Man, you used to drive an iRacing. IndyCar. Michael Locke. Yardmeet. Atlas Hain. Damian Hall. Matt Chevry. Kieran Fox. And Robel Gales. Those are your 15 drivers who are in the server so far. Here we go to start. Hot laps. Qualifying officially now has begun. So we will have our first times lap here. Gabriel Estrada. 
first one out there in clean air. Keeps it nice and neat through the S's. Now into Dengar. He goes. How quickly is he going? He's not... A little bit of a break, but doesn't shift down, it seems like. So, gets through Dengar quite nicely. So, now into the hairpin for Gabriel Estrada. Ooh, way wide. Got to be much closer to the apex there to get a good run out of the corner. Now in the spoon for Gabriel Estrada. You know, again, that's a corner. You just have to keep it stable and find the grip a little bit, especially on the exit of spoon. Can lose your grip very easily, especially there. So 130R flat into the chicane now. Again, keeps it nice and neat in fourth gear. And he will exit the corner. Corner 18 and crosses the line with a 133.2. Zero eight, Whirly. He will cross the line. He will take pole with a 131.268. You got Danny Hernandez coming on through now. He is going to go pole with a 130.451. Dan Ryan Earl second quick a 131.1. Cody Lawrence quickest now with a 129.289. Marco Jansen fifth quick with a 131.362. You got Mark Levine six quick with a 132.090. Yard and me crossing the line now, 134.078. Damian Hall third quick with a 130.497. Matt Chevry now, he'll cross the line, seventh quick, a 131. And William Neron will also cross the line. He will not set a time. And now Kieran Fox crossed the line, a 130.113. Puts him in the second spot. Atlas Hayne now. Coming into turn 18. Oh, he got into grass, lost it a little bit, and he'll cross the line. Doesn't no time there. Rebel Gales, seventh quick with a 131.292. And Micah Locke now crossing the line. Does will not count. He'll go for another lap. I wonder if this is working now. It is not. Not yet. Almost. So Cody Lawrence on the pole, Kieran Fox in second, Danny Hernandez third, Damian Hall fourth, Ryan Earl in fifth. That's the top five in qualifying. Garrett Wehrle sixth, Robel Gale seventh, Marco Jansen eighth, Matt Chevery ninth, and Mark Levine in tenth. So it must have been traffic or something for Mark Levine because that's a we saw in practice he does have some pretty decent pace on him so far. Oh, it's only gonna show me six times. Nice. Hayden out for a lap now. He'll start a lap. Let's go to F Frankie Franchica. Slow. Way wide there for Mark Levine. Levine on a out lap. Oh, what is William Neron doing here? He is in back into the pits. One thing I wish we had was in like a replay functionality that you could just queue it up in a, in a set of Corsa so we could see what happened throughout the track. Um, be able to show that to everybody.
Well, like a lot going for almost a spin there. Rebel Gales coming to, just coming out of the S's. Almost gets a little bit wide there at the exit uh, of the Dunlop curve. Now into the hairpin, straight on the brakes and does a nice job getting out of that. Rebel Gales, currently ninth quick. Kieran Fox, as Damian Hall goes second quick now, drops Kieran Fox down to third. Rebel Gales right now up in sector two, but was down in sector one. Coming through 130R into the chicane. Oh, gets on the grass and oh. Just lost a little bit of focus where that left tire was and got into the grass. And that was all she wrote there. Danny Hernandez. Fourth quick down sector one. Cody Lawrence is back out there. He is doing an outlap, it looks like. Danny Hernandez trying to maybe get another, po looking for his third podium of the season. Freaky Franchica has left. Hopefully we'll return. We did end up with 16, so Danny Hernandez now going to be starting a hot lap now. Nicely done there by Danny Hernandez getting through Dangar. He is really throwing it in right now. He's up in sector one. Kieran Fox goes second quick. Let's see if we got timing finally working. There we go. So it's very tight. Two tenths to Damian Hall for Danny Hernandez. See where he at, is at in sector two. Oh, he got a little bit wide. Will it be an off track? That we will find out. No, it was not a, counted as an off track. And he's up in sector two. So two green sectors coming through 130R. There's not really a whole lot of places to find the time except through the chicane. He's really on it now. Can he get across the line? He does. He goes second quick. Danny Hernandez up into the second spot of 129.7. Damian Hall on an outlap. Let's go to Ryan Earl. Ryan Earl, fifth fastest still. He's down by three tenths to third and fourth. Marco Jansen out and going back out. Mark Levine on an uh, outlap. Damian Hall out there on a hot lap. He's green sector two. Danny Hernandez had a purple sector three to put him up into the second spot. Damian Hall comes across the line now. Does not improve. Kieran Fox. Also up. And then aborted the lap. So at this point, you cannot afford to make a mistake because we're within the two and a half minute mark. So if you're not out there now, you're thinking about, hey, I, uh, I got to think about maybe going out here soon.
Ryan Earl, Matt Chevrier in the pit scene with yard meet, Atlas Hain. Uh, Damian Hall pulling over. Here comes Kieran Fox. What's he going to be in the first sector here? Oh, he's on. Is he on an outlap now? Yes, he is definitely on an outlap. Same with Damian Hall. Margo Jansen's on an outlap. Mark Levine on an outlap. Robel Gales on an outlap. Whaley in the 10th spot just went back to the pits. Micah Locke on an outlap. Brent, Frankie Franchica, I think, is on a lap now. He is on a lap. There we go. Hello, Frankie Franchica making their first appearance. Second appearance here in the ARC ACF1 League. Cody Lawrence goes quick. Time of 129.253. Fastest middle sector. So he is now five tenths in front of the field, a half a second. So, if, so Cody Lawrence definitely out on the pole now. Danny Hernandez in the pits. He is done with his qualifying. See where Franchica goes. He crosses the line. 12th quick, still 131.6. Let's go to Kieran Fox. Damian Hall is behind Kieran. Or, yeah, behind Kieran. Checkered flank is out. Let's see what's going to happen between these two. Kieran Fox... 130.047. Can he hold on to it? Damian Hall down sector one. Karen Fox down sector one and two. Karen Fox will cross the line. Will not improve. Damian Hall now. Coming in the spoon. What is this second sector? If it's an improvement... That is not going to look good for Kieran Fox. No, he is not. He's down sector two. So Damian Hall now has to put in a perfect third sector. If he wants a chance at starting in a podium position. Damian Hall into, second, into the final corner. Does he find the time? No, he does not. He does not improve either. 130.082. Mark Levine had an incident. He had to go off course. Now, Matt Chevry has improved in sectors one and two. And he is somebody I think I, he could make up a position if he's got the tents. Goes to the chicane. Just kind of throws it in there. A little bumpy and rough. But here comes Matt Chevry. He improves the time, but not the position of 130.544. But Cody Lawrence is the man on pole tonight. Once again here at ARC, Dan Hernandez second. Kieran Fox rounds out the top three. For the look at the lineup, Damian Hall in fourth, Ryan Earl fifth, Marco Jansen sixth, Matt Sheffrey in seventh, Mark Levine eighth. Ninth, Robel Gales in 10th, Grant Wehrle. 11th, Micah Locke. 12th is Frankie Franchica. 13th is William Neron. 14th, Gabriel Estrada. 15th, Allard. 16th, Yardmeet. And 17th, and rounding out tonight's grid, is Atlas Hain.
so the championship leader right now still out of by a half a second but it's going to be that i think the battle from second to fifth that is going to be something to watch out for because they're only they're covered a half a second between each other so they probably will be in a battle of their own If need be, we do have the VSC ready to rumble in case of an accident. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have six lights come on here. There they are. So. One, two, three, four, five, six lights will go on. And six lights go out. And away we go. Cody Lawrence, again, a great start from him. But Tanny Hernandez keeping pace while getting by Kieran Fox. Trying to go around the outside. Now we're seeing everybody come through here for the first time. It looks like everybody's going to keep it clean. So we will stay racing here. Cody Lawrence out there already. A nice looking gap. Oh, we do have somebody in the wall. Ryan Earl. Significant damage to the front wing, but we stay green. Allard. Getting by Damien Hall. Oh, Damien Hall falling way back. 13th. And now he is struggling to get through the pack. Oh, oh and he spins Allard. Oh, that's a huge crash. Many casualties in that one, but everybody gets back going again. Not blocking any traffic. Looks like Yardmeet had an issue as well. William Neron down the inside of Robel Gale through 130 yard. That was nice. Moves up into 10th and into a points paying position. Estrada's moved up on a lard now. Oh, and he goes through the chicane. And then that will definitely be a cut. All drivers have something like this on the bottom on the on their screen somewhere. And as soon as that number hits three after that, it is a penalty. So could be something to watch out for tonight is the penalties, which will line up on our screen here. Mark uh, Ryan Earl has gotten by Marco Jansen and is now on the tailpipe of Kieran Fox. Here they come into the hairpin. This is, again, one of the more probably difficult tracks to pass at. And... You really have to have some DRS help, and really the only breaking zone is the hairpin um, and the chicane. So, and it's going to be hard to pass into the chicane because you don't. It's just to try and get around here. You got to go around the outside, especially if the person on the in is defending the inside, and that's what Fox is doing. Ryan Earl will not get through. DRS will be enabled here in just a moment. There it goes. Cody Lawrence, fastest lap time of 133.613. So now DRS is enabled. And obviously none, nobody's going to get it down the front straight because the DRS line is actually behind 
the the finish line, the start finish line. Damian Hall now up into a points position as William Neron's moved up into ninth. Matt Chevry's fallen down to 12th. Mark Levine moving his way up through the field. Six currently behind Mar Marco Jansen. Go back up to the battle for the final podium spot here. Kieran Fox, Ryan Earl, Kieran Fox defending on the inside. Nice job. Now they'll come down the back. And for Kieran Fox, again, he'll take that inside. Ryan Earl's going to have to try and make this move on the outside of 130. R Fox is not going to allow that to happen, but Ryan Earl a lot closer this time. Here they come into the chicane. He's to a tenth apart between each other, and I I figured Ryan Earl was going to have some race pace tonight, and look at Kieran Fox having to defend this. Now DRS wide open here for Ryan Earl. He'll take the inside. Nothing Kieran Fox can do about that. Marco Jansen defending against Mark Levine, and Wehrle is actually joining this battle here. Gabriel Estrada, three-second violation for the DRS use. Mark Levine, he's had an incident. He ha Yes. And he's spinning those tires up, so they're going to be very, very warm when he gets back out on the track. And Wehrle has had an incident. He has gone off. And I wonder if something happened between those two. Mark Levine finally back out there on track. Will come out in 16th. Matt Chevry chasing down Damien Hall. I bet these two are teammates this season. There is a team championship. It's more of a, you know, have a teammate. You know, at least have one, one friend in the race majority of the time. So, that's why you'll see some paint, some liveries that are the same. William Neron, Kurt Fox running the same livery. William Neron chasing down Michael Locke. Getting closer. A little bit of smoke coming up from Michael Locke there on the front left tire. Oh, and there must have been some, there must be heavy damage here for Mark Levine. He got passed by. Estrada here is that here they come into 130R and Mark Levine just kind of has to just that was about as polite as he could be in that situation. Let's just say that much. 
<laughs> the two teammates now close to each other. Match every he had some pay, good pace last week, so Allard has called it a night, so that'll be our first DNF. Oh, William Neron. Okay, good. It's like uh, William Neron just sent it off the track. Okay. Looks like a lard has joined us. Oh, he. Michael Locke. I don't know what it happened there. Yeah, okay, there it is. Yep, there was contact between the two. It was definitely net code contact. But contact nonetheless. I don't know. William Neron's internet must not be the greatest. Oh, <laughs> Hello, William. Okay. Well, Karen Fox has somewhat closed the gap here on Ryan Earl. They're just a second apart. It looked like it was about 1.7 seconds earlier. And now Karen Fox has slowly closed that gap. Michael Locke is four tenths away from Rebel Gales. You'll be heartbroken what just happened with, with William Neron. Karen Fox now within the DRS range for sure now. Ryan Earl. We got a three-way battle here with William Neron, Matt Chevry, Damien Hall. Now, from what I've been told, it's probably going to be a two-stopper. Unless you can really manage your tires and when they get low, be able to continue to make good pace. Ooh, and Yardmeet and Gabriel Estrada 
Had a coming together. And William Neron now had contact with Matt Chevry. Alice Hain has had a three second penalty for crossing. So crossing the line, white line. Marco Jansen. I'm a battle here with Matt Chevry. Oh, Matt Chevry, something happened to him. Marco Jansen's on him. Damian Hall into the pits now. And for getting all the way to P6. And here comes Karen Fox. So we looked away from the battle here. Karen Fox has now gone down the inside at 130 R and he's back into the podium. And these two are probably going to battle this out for the whole night. And Karen Fox says, well, you know, I took that third place from you. I'm going to pit. That insult to injury for Ryan Earl. We're on lap 11 of 27. Marco Jansen getting by Matt Chevry now. Robel Gales just behind in this fight. Karen Fox will come out between those two well, the, those yeah those three mark levine did he pit as well no he did not he's just down the 10th so danny hernandez in second cody lawrence out in lead So Earl into the pit lane. Looks like Fox's efforts are going to pay off here. But he's stuck in a lot of traffic here behind. Earl still in the pits. He'll come out here and Fox is already very much ahead of Earl. By seven and seven seconds, eight seconds, pretty much. So, 
maybe even nine seconds, I would say. 1.1, 7.9. Yeah, about. He's got quite the lead over Ryan Earl right now. Damien Hall on new medium tires. Again, Damien Hall knows all these cars have to pit in front of him. Some of them do. And we got a battle here. Ravel Gales, Ryan Earl, Damien Hall, and Mark Levine. Ryan Earl is starting to pull away from this battle, from this group behind him. But Damien Hall's not giving up here. And, whoa, hello. Who was that? That was Rebel Gales. And he's wide through turn one, and Mark Levine will take the position back. Cody Lawrence now into the pit lane. I think he has quite the gap now over everybody else. Danny Hernandez did end up pitting, so. Marco Jansen will pit now. Damian Hall with the fastest lap of the race, Nine point second gap between Fox and Ryan Earl. But Damian Hall has caught up to uh, Ryan Earl now. So where are the battles going to be ending up here? Mark Levine has not pitted. Same with Rebel Gales.
naming all down four tenths behind Ryan Earl. Damian Hall with the DRS wide open does not get a chance to make the move happen yet. Through the S's, Damian Hall will go. Mark Levine will pit at this point. Karen Fox has gotten by Danny Hernandez an issue for Danny somewhere. Karen Fox up in the P2. Damian Hall still trying to get to Ryan Earl. Taking a look at the progress here. William Neron has gained seven spots. Marco Jansen's down five. Damian Hall's down one. He was down the 13th at one point. Dearest wide open again for Damien Hall. He's tr he is just so close, but he just can't make the move happen. Robel Gales, five second penalty for speeding into the pit lane. Chevry has gotten by William Neron almost. Yes, he does finally. And William Neron, I think, kind of got a little nervous there. He was aggressive on the curbing. Here is wide open here for William Neron. He tries to go around the outside. Wow. Gets the job done. Now he's got to have, now he has the tall order here of keeping Matt Chevry behind him. This is a, this is what I was afraid of for Damian Hall. His tires are starting to wear. And this again, most mostly everybody's probably going to be on a two stop strategy. I don't see these medium tires getting everybody on the all the way home.
Yep, Damien Hall into the pits. So he is going to two-stop it. And I would say throw in another pair of mediums and because another pair of mediums will get you to the end nine laps. Damien Hall, I think, did like 10 laps. Oh, Danny Hernandez has had an incident. From the way it looks, it was just a tap with the with a wall or something. Is that Mark Levine going off? No, it wasn't. It was... Oh, and Robel Gale spins around. It was yard meat. Danny Hernandez and Kieran Fox will pit at the same time here. So Damian Hall is now up in the fourth in front of Danny Hernandez. So in terms of strategy, it's worked out for him. He is now officially a plus one, I think, now in terms of progress. Nope, zero. Okay, so it's back where he qualified. Six laps to go.
Marco Jansen into the pits. Ryan Earl's got a pit at some point. He is on hard tires. I believe he also started on the hard, so he does have to do a tire switch, a tire, yeah, different tire. Earl staying out another lap. So he, at this point, if he is on trying to do the one stop, I think Kieran Fox will get by. Tony Lawrence now into the pit lane with a 45 second lead. Battle for the final points position. Marco Jansen, Grant Wehrle. Danny Hernandez now less than a second away from Damien Hall. So we have four laps to go. Damien Hall is going to be putting, he's going to try and defend it for his life here. Karen Fox has closed the gap to less than a second. And Fox has now officially gotten by Ryan Earl. He will move up into that second spot. Mark Levine down to six already, or up to six. And now this is the battle to watch out for as we have now three laps to go. Danny Hernandez. Damian Hall.
Damian Hall still out in the fourth spot. Oh, and here comes Danny Hernandez almost into the grass on the outside and is able to get around Dan, uh, Damian Hall. I think Damian Hall wasn't expecting that move to happen, but it did happen. And Danny Hernandez will move up into fourth, and he'll be chasing down Ryan Earl, who's trying to make this on a one-stop. Two laps now to go. We're on the final lap now. Cody Lawrence absolutely dominating here tonight. And the battles have run up dry here. So we'll head to our race leader, Cody Lawrence. Who I think at this point It'll be difficult to find another level for him. He is absolutely outstanding right now. He's on good form, very good pace. Each race, he is looking for his third win in a row. Fourth win in a row if you count the last race last season. And Cody Lawrence will cross the line here. He'll take home this a win here in Suzuka. Oh, we got a Danny Hernandez trying to get by Ryan Earl. Ryan Earl defending hard for the final podium spot. Hernandez, he's got that inside line here. They come to 130R. I think the move is done. Ryan Earl trying to fight back as they come into the chicane here. It's not going to be enough, though. Danny Hernandez was pushing the issue there. He wanted the podium spot. He got the podium. And Danny Hernandez will come home in third. Kieran Funk, second place, which I think will definitely be a... Surprise to him, Ryan Earl in fourth, Damien Hall fifth, Mark Levine. Comes home to six, Chevrolet in seventh. Oh, yard meat went off. Oh, no. Well, I'm near on 8th. Jansen in ninth, Werley in 10th. Franchica in 11th. Dam uh, Rebel Gales in 12th. Michael Locke, 13th. 14th. Gabriel Estrada, 15th, will be yard meat. And Atlas Hain will come home in 16th. And Allard was our only DNF of the night. Well, this man gets it done again. Cody Lawrence, your race winner tonight. So three wins in a row this season. Starts his first three races very well. And, and we head off next week. 
uh, for another 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 ACF one race. And it will be next week is break week. So you will not be on for the holiday. And then uh, we'll be back for Magello on July 12th. So no race next week. Of course, next week being a holiday here in the U.S. Um, we will not have any racing here, uh, at least official league wise. So, uh, but we will be returning the week after, not only with truck, uh, with ACF one, but NASCAR trucks returns on Tuesday nights. So make sure to hit the follow button on Twitch and keep up with all the action on YouTube and, and subscribe over there on YouTube. So Cody Lawrence, once again, victorious here tonight but Kieran Fox a good surprise out of him tonight getting a P2 so and Danny Hernandez fighting it to the end and picking up a third place and another podium for him so three podium three third place finishes for him in a row this season well for everybody here at Apollo Racing Club we want to thank you so much for watching and we will see you in two weeks for Majel